Here we go into a very, very important 1v1 okay, set here. Chivas Esports playing for their lives. And just to let you guys know, Andaman O2 against Jupiter King, O2 against Igor, but he 2 owed Bale. So that is where he got his win, was against another rookie out there. Pedro, definitely not a rookie in any mean of the word, any sort of the word. So Valkyrie and Goblin Cage, maybe Goblin going with Cage. that graveyard deck um, we saw yesterday, is Pedro. Funky rhyming medium. And uh, look at this. Okay. We saw this yesterday um, as well. Balloon, but maybe balloon, maybe uh, wave jack, wave jack. I do believe, Andrew, that it's good for the meta that the spawners are a little bit less powerful than they were in the previous ones. I think that we're we're it we're makes we're the game move a little bit faster. You don't see as, as clogged up lanes as we might have seen beforehand. It feels like, in general, they're in a pretty good place for, for exciting gameplay. Yeah, 150%. Uh, I completely agree. And I also am happy that they're still in the meta. Yes, you'll heal me so every single time. The Goblin Hunter and Barbarian right have come out. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I'm not happy to see them. I am glad that they no, are in the meta means, because it, so... it is a bummer when cards just don't not show up at all in competitive. I'm not using Wave Jam right now. He doesn't use Except for Wizard. Um, um, maybe, maybe, um... <laughs> Except for Wizard. <laughs> 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 I don't think, I don't think it's First gonna, 90 it's seconds gonna away, and so far, we no one's even have, um, given a is, paper cut to their opponent, although this E Wiz and Knight is, might be the first shot. Uh, Anaban taking a my, chunk oh, out of Pedro's tower. Maybe, uh, we'll see where, if he can break through the second level. And looks like he's going to kind of sit back here and leak quite my a bit. Maybe just maybe maybe that yeah, but these guys just hanging out probably till we get to double elixir time. That's when you're going to start to see, I mean, definitely Animan go pretty aggressive with his win condition. But I'm just curious to see what Pedro's idea is here. Because it really seems like he's feeling out Animan and hasn't committed to anything yet. Hasn't committed to really showing what he's doing by any means. What's up? I got the Yeah, we wouldn't. This time Inferno Dragon, nice and low with the Valk in front. We'll go meet the baby in Mega Minion. And again, an easy E is so that's going to be going towards Anaband consistently. And there we go, there's the... And first Graveyard in. And Snowball up front, Archer's behind, oh, but the Wizard is there as well. And I don't know if Pedro managed this exactly how he'd wished. Yeah, one Archer does get taken off by the Poison. Anaband not taking a risk with... Maybe a finger slip and getting too close to the King Tower. Up ahead now, 17-15 as we go into sudden death and overtime. We're talking about, we saw something similar, not the exact same matchup yesterday, Andrew, but we did see a similar faster cycle graveyard versus a slower cycle graveyard yeah. yesterday. And uh, the big key for Surge TS was the value of the archers against the graveyard and how hard it was to deal with them and that it forces out both the graveyard and the poison to really get value. So we'll see if as we go along, the potential faster cycle for Pedro can take Yeah, and the other big part about that was what you just mentioned, the faster cycle and getting hyper aggressive with those graveyards when you recognize what your opponent's best responses are to taking that graveyard yeah. off the board, knowing where they are in his cycle, knowing where his elixir's at, and then going heavy. So this is a big moment here for, for Pedro, Andrew, because now Anaban does not have the poison to support this graveyard, and if Pedro can get back to archers here, he can just decides to poison it off this time. But those archers and the Valk on top of that are going to be real frustrating for, for more damage. The big question now is, can Pedro get around yeah, faster? And, you know, the one thing that I have recognized Pedro doing is he's playing just a little bit more patient than Anaban. He's making more positive elixir trades. And with Graveyard, that really is the name of the game. So, you know, uh, there was a moment there where Anaban was up about seven-ish elixir when he had a barb hut down and Pedro hadn't played anything yet. And now Pedro has recovered from that moderately well. But he needs to make more positive elixir trades if he wants to get back on offense in any sort of position. Here we go. Opposite lane pressure from the Valk and the Archers. Yeah, that's going to be an easy defense. But poison going to be enough. It, it... <sighs> so here's the question now. This deck gets around very, very quickly. We're in the final 30 seconds. And there you go. Valk yep. down again. Will get across. No, does not get across the bridge in time. Poison though in response, and now it's ready yeah, down for one anime. unit just distracting the Valkyrie, and pulled it away from getting it. any uh, sort of real uh, tankage down uh, on the bottom right hand side. Sorry. So Pedro now recognizing, look, I okay, can't win this going head on, on the left side, so I've got to start going yeah, to the right. But I think me. he recognized it very, very late in the game. So now he gets a snowball reset, but it's going to be too little, too late. Yeah, this is going to be brutal, and there you go. Anaban gets on the board with a win and a crown.
Uh, very, very final. important for those of you who might have picked him this final week for your... <laughs> one, of the, one of the interactions we talked about a few times was that E-Wiz and Inferno Dragon at the bridge. And it's nice. not just that the E-Wiz countered the Inferno Dragon. It's that oh, it's four yeah, four taking the Inferno off and then Megami forcing Pedro to play into the E-Wiz as well because he can't leave that alone on itself. So, so many different pieces here between the Barb Hut and the E-Wiz uh, just making things difficult. Oh my gosh, no chain deck. Come you know, on. Uh, I think this was that, that was gonna be a tough one for Pedro yeah, no matter absolutely. how you play. And you know, some people here in the YouTube chat saying that's the Anivan we're looking for. Anivan snipe once again. So, you know, definitely some fans no chance, of his like, here hanging out and maybe Anivan going right back to the well after really enjoying how well that played in game number one. And if Pedro's doing the same thing, he might find himself in trouble once again, wishing he had a no larger no chance, like, spell maybe. to deal with the barb hut and being able to hold that poison. For the graveyard. Well, it looks like he might be going with what Surge actually ran yesterday. So Pedro ran the Inferno Dragon instead of Mega Minion last game. Yeah, Surge actually ran the Inferno Pedro ran the Inferno Dragon instead of Mega Minion last game. And Surge just ran this with Mega, Mega Minion, I believe, yesterday. So Surge now is one elixir. elixir, it's faster, and you don't have that same situation where the E Wiz makes the card. So this is a moment where if you're Pedro, you look oh, at this and you go, okay, we've got dragon. basically the same thing that happened last game. I've got a little bit of a faster cycle. How do I prevent what happened before from happening again? And it's going to be all about controlling those bar putts and staying at an even elixir queue. Well, certainly missing a snowball on the Mega Minion <laughs> Knight isn't the way to do it. And uh, again, here now, it's Anaban with an early elixir lead. Yeah, yeah, there comes the cap of poison to, to do a little bit of damage on this E-Wiz. E-Wiz is still going to hit. Yeah. And here we go. Pedro getting more aggressive with graveyards early in game number two. That's an important mm -hmm. difference from game number one. Oh. Forcing the poison to be spent on defense. And with this faster cycle, Pedro's going to need to try to say, try to find a way to keep pressure and sort of change the rhythm of this dance. Yeah, and you know, one thing that he's already got is that knight going in the right-hand lane to stop the Valkyrie. So if he can continue to get that knight down away from all these other units, because that is the biggest tank, right? Now, obviously, the barbs from the barb hut provide a lot of tankage, Ooh, but it's a lot different two barbs double, than one knight. Uh, double, 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 double. And, and now we got that double tonight. two yeah. bar putts down, so it's a flood of blonde on the left-hand side. And this is again that same moment where Anaban's like, look, you're doing okay, but I'm <laughs> stacking <laughs> elixirs, <laughs> stacking huts, <laughs> and you have no <laughs> way of taking them off the board. Boy, poison coming. Nice. Foul Brawler and Mega Minion all in Work baby time. dragon yeah. splash, and now you have a huge counter push tank and a in the really, really uh well played, he was being just one tile outside so that poison, so you get just a little bit of utility nine, crossing the river. Anaban's just two barely two in the lead, but again, he's got the second barb hunt down. And those barb also do clog yeah. up and play some defense against the, the graveyards. Now, the one thing here is that uh, Pedro doesn't really need to save his poison for graveyard defense with the, the archers, the Valk, the skeletons, and the snowball on top of it. So he is a little more free to use this poison in alternative ways, although he might end up wow. using it. Here we go. That's going to be Anaban's poison. Yeah, trying to make 15 some elixir crossing the board there with the help from the poison. Barb does get a swing, so it was definitely worthwhile. And what's important to look at right now is the elixir. Anaban's still up. Unit's on the board. Barb Hut's still alive, and now a second Barb Hut down. I just feel like there's no way Pedro can keep up with this. Poison one. Valk trying to clear some of these barbs off the board. Graveyard down one more time. We are pretty close overall on oh, damage yeah. at the moment. So this is going to be interesting in the final 40 seconds. So 40 seconds remaining. You have to imagine this is the moment where Anaban pulls the trigger on his last or second to last graveyard. There he goes. All things in. Enough for the graveyard. Graveyard is down. Poison now. Definitely in cycle and the elixir's there. But the poison has to come down a yeah. little bit late here, so a lot of damage not done on that left-hand side, and now with the final 15 seconds, it is Pedro on the offensive, but back to another graveyard. Poison's down on the bottom left-hand left -hand side of the map. Oh, poison down on the top left. Snowball comes in. This is a foot race. 902-875. It looks wow. like Pedro by a hair in game number two. And Andrew, just a slight adjustment both in deck and strategy, and Pedro able to win this one by 102 yeah, dominance in Game it, 3. Me. Everything on the line right now for Kareem. Good luck coming out from Anaban. 
Anaban definitely wants to take this one away from Pedro. And looks like potentially going Royal yeah. Hawks is the Cream Rail Betis plan. And Anaban may be going. You think so? Is it going to be? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We had this conversation yesterday. People are calling it, they're not calling it Ice Bow anymore. What are they calling it? They... They're calling it Ice Rock now, not. Andrew. And honestly, <laughs> the, with the oh. way that this that this version of Ice Bow plays in this <sighs> meta, I don't think they're necessarily. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. So, you, know, you, can, you decide to just only play your Expo defensively and Rocket Cycle out, depending on what the matchup is. Uh, so right now, Anaban running something Hawks. that has surged back and into the maybe. meta. GC's top ladder alike. Uh, and I'm <laughs> using if you're like Rich and I. <laughs> and then so I Anaban think, running um, a deck that might have a lot of trouble taking these buildings off the board. Fun Wolf, Anaban, bus. Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen 3M against Ice already can... throughout this tournament, and well, if you look at the, the, if you look at the data the that's been pulled, it does not really tell the story of this matchup at the highest level, level, where, you know, you have so many people who don't know Royal how to play Ice Bowl to the top level, who kind of bring Royal. their win rate down in this matchup. In a reality, uh, in reality, when you have players of this caliber, it really feels like Anaban has no business losing I, this I one. I couldn't agree people. more. Now, of course, we did see the German Morton pull off the incredible against i believe it was imjp with this exact same sure matchup okay. um so we'll see we'll if he has it in call, to do it again today all uh, right excuse me pedro has it in to replicate what morton did the other day okay. but, yeah, okay. uphill okay. battle and i can't imagine okay. 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 i'm sure okay. anaban was watching that match as well right so he knows the mistakes okay. 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 yeah and he's doing the right okay. thing now i mean the, the expo might have been a little bit early uh, but right Ooh, now it's build, nice build, build a, a city, <laughs> yep. stack time. the heck out of those Teslas, cool. make it so hard to break through, and do what you just Plus saw right there, yeah. get a nice right, NATO rocket. Sure, we're not positive. playing Clash Royale anymore, this is all Sim City, baby. Right hall, and then they have Fireball coming. And now Expo Tesla Fireball left coming. hand side, sure. and the second Tesla will help with nice. a little bit of cleanup. Oh my god! Obviously Pedro, go ahead, right, and there you go, a little bit of a lock. Hey, Pedro having that fireball is going to help just a little bit, but I still just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. Well, Pedro needs to, what, what Morton did in the, uh, the game against JP was get ahead yeah. by a decent amount early. And so far, Pedro hasn't done that. He has not gotten very far ahead. And doesn't look like he will get very far ahead in the early stages. Yeah, I mean, he's down, down to 1841. This is very different yeah, than that five old JP match. Have, and have, as the further this gets down towards triple, the more dangerous yeah, it is. Yeah, you have to imagine that, that you know, one thing we focused on a little bit in that match was the early cycled Tesla at the end of the game. For, well, it became the end of the game. Oh, Morton little really took advantage of that. I can't imagine that Anaban makes the same mistake oh, either. Oh. Especially playing against what he knows the deck is. He knows the fireballs on the board. So cycling that Tesla early and safe is good so he can get a second one down. Which is maybe what JP was going for, but he just got overwhelmed. And there you go. Pulls all three Musketeers to one side. And this is nice for Anaban not having to use yeah. the rocket. To yeah, rock it time, rock it so here we go, no. Hogs in with the Hunter, double Tesla, that's what you want, you want to get that cycle around and have the Elixir, the other thing was that with JP he was so low in Elixir, he couldn't get that second Tesla down in time, so now Anaban gets an Expo down, Pedro not responding with the best options, that's trouble. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's not gonna, not gonna close it out quite yet here. But it's gonna put it pretty close into rocket range. Fireball trying to help him make some room for these piggies. But Log, Ice Wiz, man, this is just brutal yeah, you for Pedro. See heal Spirit come down, followed by Skeletons to meet an Expo, and, and you know you're already in trouble. Pedro low in Elixir, 726 yeah, remaining, less than Back two up, rockets here. away. There's the Log, and in a very, very, very good position. Sets up low with the Expo, and nice enough to pull those piggies, Rocket gets the Tesla down as well. Low. But Fireball Cycle, not going to beat out Rocket lost, Cycle. Lost. Here we go, we one more lost. Rocket will do it. And Team Liquid has to be looking at this very, very yeah. excited. This is what they want. There you go, Fireball in, which means the Rocket is going to be coming right back around very, very soon. Doesn't even it's need it, to be Black honest. Going to just play. Oh, never mind. There it is. And we, we are going to King, King of the Hill. Coming. Cool. Wow. Wow, what a deck. Two nasty deck choices from yeah. Anaban here in this best of three coming out this one. We will not be seeing Richard anymore this season on the other side of it. 
Diego, E, Cal? Belican, and Pedro. Yet I not in the mix. A bit of a surprise here for me. Andrew, let's jump into game number one. Okay, Are you kind of surprised not to see Yerai in mean, this King of the Hill? 150%. Yerai is one of the guys that you and I have talked so much about in his career as a guy that just is kind of an unsung star in head-to-head -head play. I mean, last season, you're looking at a guy that was 89% oh, in the baby. 1v1 set. Yes, it wasn't as strong in King of the Hill, or he wasn't as strong in King of the Hill, but that's still a guy that I think you play so, anytime that your team has an option. This time he head -head. defends first. Oh man, and Diego E just going golem There's early, the, uh, here. but is slightly ahead on Elixir, so here. it's going to be, defend, maybe there you go, here. Ice Rocket against Golem Nightwish. Be careful here, blinding. Prepare for a long five minutes, folks. Cool. This is a very interesting golem deck, too. It's a much more control style golem deck. Ooh, Which, you know, when you're not trying to cross oh. the bridge, who cares if your opponent is playing control? control? My defense. So, Pompeo. I think the first time so first uh, Pompeo is so using so Pompeo uh, out to a lead with that really, really nice yeah, defense. Yeah. And even though he golemed up in the back first play, Diego E, not in any real trouble yet. Ninety seconds away, and Diego E has banked with the cage. Golem lining. The golem Slow. can absorb a lot from that Expo, and for a long time, Golem was a uh, the bane of Expo. So but I think again, if you can't break through past it, all uh, this defense, and you down to that triple elixir. He, uh, there's no way to block uh, it. Yeah, and the rocket is really the key here for Pompeo. If he's able to NATO all those units so, together and get a rocket like, in, look at everything that we've seen so far from Diego. It all ties yeah. to rocket other than the golem. Right? Yeah, so if Pompeo is Pompeo is able to get those NATO like, rockets like, in like, on like, golem pushes chilling. for massive positive elixir trades and then getting an expo oh, down, so we can see a lot of trouble here for Diego. Friend. Expo left hand lane. Lord, that goes like pretty the, far to the outside, but the brawler will pick up easily, and Bar Barrel breaks on through you no know, connection you know, on the left hand side. And a decent amount on the board right now for Diego. Decent amount on the board. Yeah, things kind of split up here for Diego, so not able to NATO rocket anything together is Pompeo, well, but still well, playing well, a well, very, very nice well, defense. Well, and those high well, skellies well, actually well, turn the Night Witch around. Well, Beautiful well, well, interaction well, there. Well, the Chief well, representative. And now Golem the right golem into golem. the Expo on the left-hand side. Tesla Lotus support. Oh, Ice was to slow down the DPS from Diego's push. One into sudden death overtime, and so far it's been a near stalemate, except for that 1934 like, on Diego's right hand. Exactly. You go opposite lane, you keep making it so your opponent is never truly comfortable, and especially because he's playing against Golem, he wants to make sure that he never has enough elixir to comfortably Golem in the center of the map, making it so neither Expo can be a threat. And there it is. And there we go. There's the golem and ice little set of skeletons to protect. Blowing. Look at how far blowing. outside Pompeo sets wrong, the expo, wrong, but wrong, no yeah. connection. It's one tile no low. A misplacement from Pompeo. <laughs> Unless he's just doing this for a yeah, defensive thing to get the second one in between that expo and Tesla, which might be the plan. Lightning comes in. Very healthy golem going on through the tower, but Tornado still in it's hand. Sure. Now maybe able to get back around? No. There it is. That Ice Wizard doing wonders well, by the way, for Pompeo defense. right now. Good, 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 good. Defense, good. Wow. Final minute, triple okay, elixir. Okay, final minutes. It's going to be an interesting question here, Andrew. He can he can stop the Expos from getting on tower. He can lightning off some of this oh, defense. Not Igbo, but can he do enough Chucky? to get tower and force Pompeo to not play enough rockets offensively. I, I don't know, know if that's I'm the like case. trying to think of the series of events that's about to come in since that lightning was just used to take those units off the board here. It's, um, defend, defend, I, I defend, just defend, don't know. Defend. I feel like Pompeo's just going to keep playing lap. defense, get that sneaky rocket in <gasps> at the end, and Diego's going to be in the world of hurt. Now piling everything on at the river, maybe that baits out the NATO fi uh, lightning. lightning. NATO rocket. There it is. Oh, oh my god. god. That no, lightning was no, absolutely no. massive, Andrew. Cleared out so much I damage see, on tower. Um, this is what Diego E needs to do right now, is continue Sam to force need, the uh, rocket to be spent, Sam not Sam on his Sam tower, Sam and try to get a head damage nine, more than his opponent. Seven, Long does not get the tower right. It's going to be there. And lightning, lightning comes in, one, and wow. Zero. 
Nato! The NATO Nato's gonna it. take it! NATO's oh, gonna take my it! My goodness, the what's NATO, what's you knew the damage was gonna come in. You were wondering when he was gonna pull the trigger on it. 22 FP! HP! 22 FP! Unbelievable! Beautiful game by Diego no, no, no. E there and just so recognizing, I hey, I, that that difference when the rocket came in He's, and the light at the same time. E playing this picture perfect. Right, I am super fast cycle. Yeah, all it takes is one yeah, though, that's Andrew. True. That's not all it takes is doing. one. And Prince down to the opposite lane in the right timing to keep that expo off. Two really beefy troops in that Prince yeah, and the Royal oh, Giant. Wow. Great fireball we'll though, you once again takes the expo off. Yes, the Tesla is hidden, but it also hits the Ice Wizard, and here we go. Once again, Firecracker just getting a little bit of damage on that expo. Time and that's a really, really yeah. great miner there. Look at the placement on that miner. Picks oh, up the expo oh, aggro he, by going well, to the like... inside tower. That's a huge one. And Diego, you should be back to Prince yeah, again. Here we go. Inside tanks for the expo. Just varying up the way that he's defending no, no, the expo wait. is Diego E. Might be Skellies. Might be Firecracker still on the board. Maybe it's miner inside. RG or Prince. No. Oh, oh, the swerve. And the game, my friend. 20 HP remains. Oh, and Diego E. Playing lights out. <sighs> G G, well played. Thanks from Diego <laughs> E. That's a king of the hill sweep. A beautiful performance on the day. I.